Hey you guys, it's Sunshine Vibes with the High Vibrations. If y'all new to my channel, thank you for watching. If you're returning, thank you for subscribing to your girl. Love and like to you all. I hope everybody's doing good. This is going to be a collective message. So take the messages as they resonate with you. Use your own discernment, okay? So first off, I'm going to call on my highest water protection, Archangel Michael. Be with me as I channel these messages, okay? Nothing but clear and accurate messages. So, uh, I'm going to tap into these messages. First, y'all, I'm going to go over some downloads I was getting. I heard seal the deal. <laughs> so, with this being said, some of you all, God is like saying seal the deal. I don't know if it's something that you are trying to manifest or if it is just, you know, trying to find a place of peace in your life, okay? And when I heard seal the deal, I instantly thought, you know, praise him. Give him the praise, okay? Give God all the glory, Okay? Um, also, the download I was getting, uh, it was from a verse, Matthew 16, 17. The verse said, and these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. They shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues beyond limits of the human intellect. So with this verse, I instantly got that, um, there is something God is doing with you that could be out of the human, the human in, intellect, right? Um, maybe people don't understand you. This is because people might not understand the signs. But whoever you are, you have a connection with God, okay? There is a connection that you have with the Most High, okay? And he is giving you a new tongue to be able to cast out devils. Um, this kind of gave me, like, deliverance, okay? Um, everybody do, does not have this gift, right, uh, of speaking in tongues. So some of you all could have this gift here. I could be talking to a prophet, or you could just be, there is something that you do. You work with God, okay? God is working in you for you and through you he is strengthening your faith okay this could be however it looks like to you whatever your relationship with god looks like to you okay also i was telling this song now behold the lamb the precious lamb of god okay y'all bear with me Whoever you are, you are an angel with a book, <laughs> okay? Some of you all could benefit from reading Revelation uh, 10, 11. You are an angel with a book. I also was channeling, you live by, you die by. It. So it's, it's giving me this energy. Make sure that whatever you are standing on, you living by. It. Okay, this 333, when I said this, this really has a lot to do with, uh, I believe, like, your faith or your belief, okay? Because everybody is free to believe whatever they want to believe. But in this time right now, I feel like this is a new earth because I heard the new earth, the new heaven, okay? This is a new earth. And then it was 222 as I was saying this. I was reading this, okay? So... You live bad, you die bad. So I feel like you casted out some type of devil, right? And you're sealing the deal with God right now. And somebody is really feeling that worth, okay? Whatever worth, God's worth is, whatever judgment, somebody is feeling God's judgment right now. Okay, let's see what messages I have for y'all. But yeah, those downloads was kind of powerful even for me because downloads in my Bible a lot. Okay, so some of you all, you could benefit from reading your Bible, okay? <laughs> Give me one part for the collective. What do they need to know as far as the current energy? We have share your song, frequency, sound, dive deep, and then we have let yourself be seen. Yeah. So like I said, yeah, lifting the bell. 
questioning everything, anything underlying must go. There is something God is literally showing you. And when I say showing you, he's literally showing you. We have visionary. He's showing you to take some type of inspired ideas. You guys could be learning life lessons, studying, higher learning. Something is God's plan, okay? It's God's plan, yeah. Seeing potential, bringing unconscious to light. You got the love, codependency. Somebody was not being honest with you and they are really grieving right now because you are balancing something out. Okay? And whatever you are balancing out, I feel like it could be your light and dark energy. Because you're bringing unconscious to light. So it's something about um, people that are not consciously aware of certain things. You're bringing those things to the light. It could be triggering to some people I'm hearing because people don't want to fix certain things about, about themselves, but I mean, consciousness and your awareness here. You're trying to share your song. Like I said, some of you are like trying to find your way. It's a lot of water out here, so I'm getting like a purifying energy. Something's being purified in your energy, so you're able to grow. What's going on here? Yeah, we have empathy. I'm open to seeing both sides of the situation. So like I said, if this has something to do with fixing something within yourself, you're open to seeing that something needs balance, especially when it comes to your purpose. So it's like discipline. Okay, I'm working on that too, y'all. What's going on? I can't make I can't make this up. Mystical messages follow the signs. Didn't I just say something about the signs? Yeah, speak your truth and express yourself. Some of you all, you have a gift of casting out devils. It's something about your tongue. It's something about what you speak, okay? You you choose to speak life. You choose to expand, to grow. And there's something you're supposed to be pouring out to the world for everyone to see. Yeah, surrender. Whatever this is, you have a passion for. I can release my need to control. I feel like there is something or someone in the background doing magic. Somebody knows this. I'm hearing somebody knows this. Okay, so this is very important. This is a very specific message for someone. doesn't need to know what God has planned for you. So you guys could be casting out devils, like I said. It gave me deliverance. You could be speaking in tongues. Um, so you're communicating with God in a way um, that he only understands you because it's divine intervention. I'm here. Give me one more. Yeah, solar plex chakra. This all has to do with your willpower, your knowing of who you are. I feel like God is like waking you up to who you are right now. It's like God is trying to get you to remember who you are right now at this time. Because you are somebody. You are his child. Let's see what they want me I don't 
know what's going on with this energy. I don't know if it's like, I feel like somebody wants you to feel like God isn't in your life, but he is. It's like, somebody wants you to feel like you're not growing here. Yeah. As soon as I pull this deck out, rage, Medusa energy. But somebody's like playing in the spirit realm. Somebody could be calling on to like certain spirits, but they don't know who you are in the spirit realm. You are able to cast out these devils. Somebody's in rage. Somebody does not like the fact that you are reflecting right now, okay? They don't like the fact that you are reflecting, you are speaking some type of truth. God is revealing some type of truth. I, I don't even have to, I don't even need these courses, okay, y'all? These courses for y'all. God's revealing the truth for y'all, okay? Secrets revealed. This has a, a lot to do with your level up. It has a lot to do with who you are. Like God is trying to wake you up to remind you who you are. I feel like God has masked you. God masked your power. So you're able to step into some type of alchemy position for her. But he needed you to reflect. He needed you to reflect to realize that you have the love so you can set boundaries. Because it was like a devil he had you cast out. Like it's certain devils, y'all. I'm, I'm telling you truth and mass. It's certain devils that were sent to you that, that, that had different masks. You could always felt like you dealt with the same type of people. But no, these were certain entities. I feel like this also symbolized God masked you. He masked your truth. Yeah. Because he was like hiding a birth or something. Somebody could be pregnant. He was like hiding your awakening. Because like it's giving me that energy to be able to cast out devils. To speak in tongues is a language that only you and God can understand. So before God let you self-sabotage, he kind of took, took control over whatever it is that you were speaking and cut some type of cord. So you guys could have cut some type of cord. Why is ethic cord Clarify. Yeah, naked. Mommy Wati, not Mama Wata, excuse me, y'all. <laughs> so you guys know your word for her. Yeah, the seasons is changing. So God literally is stepping in so you will know your worth and understand that these seasons is changing. It is your time, so don't self-sabotage because you should feel safe by using your intuition. This is what gives you cosmic power. God is giving you the power to alchemize the energy, to speak up, to cast out these devils. I'm telling you, to speak up. That's too many. Somebody wanted you to feel ashamed. Somebody wanted to like shame you. Somebody could even like try to shame you, body shame you. It's something about photos. But this person is just mad because you resist this person and you have good juju. Why is naked here? Yeah, you living out loud. You guys could be a wounded healer. One more. Yeah, secrets revealed. This could be a secret. Okay, somebody could be keeping this a secret. Did they expose some type of naked pictures of you? 
Because you resist them? Somebody wants you to give them something? Why are secrets revealing her? Y'all, somebody is mad. You could also be speaking some type of truth. Because I'm picking up on different energies. You could be speaking some type of truth. And the seasons is changing for this person that was wearing a mask. You cut some type of cord with this person. And this person is enraged. Because the seasons is changing. So if somebody trying to send some type of en entity or energy to you, some type of devil, God casted it out. God casted it out. Or you casted this devil out. You work with God. Yeah, I can't make this up. Grounded, you work with God. Whatever they try to send you, you're too grounded. You're still resisting something. Yeah, this person's grieving. Somebody's really sad and enraged behind your creativity. Somebody wanted you to self-sabotage. Yeah, but you have fearless love and desire. We have Aunt Nancy betrayal. Somebody betrayed you and now they, they are grieving because they couldn't get you stuck in this web when it comes to your creativity. Somebody sees that you're fearless when it comes to your desires. You have joy. Yeah, they're mad because you feel safe. They wanted you to self-sabotage. Somebody that betrayed you, you're actually leveling up. Yeah, level up. I can't make that shit up. You're leveling up. Now somebody's confused on what to do. I keep hearing God's in control. So somebody's trying to play God in your life. Level up. Yeah, miracles. But you're still, things are still going as, as you please. We have pleasure in miracles. Somebody can't stop God's blessings and miracles for you. I can't make this up. Surrender, 444. Somebody has to let something go. Because you are worthy of a harvest. 434, four, four, you can be a leader. Somebody's resisting change. Yeah, intuition. Somebody also wanted you to self-sabotage. They didn't want you to feel safe when it comes to using your intuition. Yeah, shame in reverse. I feel like you're not ashamed of your intuition. Somebody thought that they was going to make you feel ashamed. You're not ashamed of your intuition. Why would your intuition make you feel ashamed when you know that you, that's God's head? God anointed your head. <laughs> He gave you the authority to cast out devils. He speaks through you. Yeah, we have synchronicity. He speaks through you. He balances you out. You guys can balance out your light and dark energies. This is why you receive this harvest. This is why you are about to receive your pleasures and miracles, things that you desire. Because what did I say? He gave me the store authority to speak up, to give and to receive. Maya energy. Some of y'all like destined to be millionaires, destined to be fortunate, destined to have a harvest, alchemy. Because you're able to alchemize something. You're able to liberate something. This is why you are going through an awakening. This is why you are having so much joy to be able to manifest. 916 could be significant. Some of you all, you manifested so much during the storm. You have so much to look forward to. One more. Yeah, radical rebirth. You went through some type of rebirth. 
517 could be significant. I can't make this up. You manifested so much in the rain. You manifested so much in the storm. You went through so much. And you were happy with your, getting your feet wet. <laughs> you were getting your feet wet and you were happy. This is why things are happening for you. You have literally have a Godhead. Yeah, some forgiveness. You forgave yourself. You know you're worthy to be in alignment, to shine, to speak up for your divine lineage. You have the power and the authority here to do so. Some of y'all got a, a, a prophecy to fulfill, and then as soon as I cut the deck, we have prophecy and decisions. So you guys have a de decision to make her. I feel like you forgave yourself, and your manifestations is coming through. It's like you're not grieving. You could be enduring a lot, but you're not grieving. So you the type of person you go through a lot, but you don't mope about it, cry about it, you go through it. Because it's like letting go, surrendering the need to control. You don't have to control everything. It's like, yeah, that happened, but you know, you might lose a job. You might be like, I can go get another job tomorrow. That's nothing. Okay? It's like something that you're going through, and that's, it doesn't mean you're going through something because you lost a car or you lost a job. But it just means like, you're understanding something that God is doing. It's making you ground yourself. Like usually sometimes everything we lose is not a loss. So it's giving me that energy. It's like yeah, but maybe God was teaching you a lesson. Some things it's, it's not losses. They're our lessons. Yeah, it always has to do with your alignment. You guys are aligned for something. So speaking your truth is keeping you in alignment. This is how you are fulfilling your prophecy. I'm telling you guys, it has something to do with your tongue. Three, three, three. Casting out these devils. This is your confirmation, I'm hearing. Someone has been looking for a confirmation. This is your confirmation. This is how you are going to receive rewards. So if you have been enduring a lot and you feel like that, Nothing is happening, but you're still looking toward the future. You're still making steps, taking steps. You're going to be rewarded in the end because this is the beginning. Y'all see her head's going. Like I said, you have that God head. Beginning. I can't make this up. Keep going. 811 could be significant. 118 could be significant. You guys are fulfilling some type of prophecy. You're going to receive justice, whatever it is that you're thinking about. It. You could be feel blinded. You could feel blinded. This woman is blindfolded. You could feel like you're too old for something, but you're not. Organize your mind. Like I said, give God the praise. It's something about taking root, self-resilience. Yeah, you guys, you've been really patient, okay? It's all about your confidence. They want you to have confidence here to make this dream work. Yeah. You're going to have help, I'm hearing. You're going to have help. You're going to get guidance. This could be from an older woman, okay? This could be from an older woman. She can wear glasses. Somebody could be a twin. But somebody, you're going to come across somebody that is going to give you guidance here to this prophecy. Because somebody, it's already written, I'm hearing. And this person already knows. It's giving me this energy of this movie, y'all. I can't even think of the name, but... The man already knew that the woman was coming. So whoever this woman is, they already know that you're coming. It's going to have something to do with your creativity. They know something's coming because they know about this prophecy. Somebody either has seen it or they just, God has gave them the download. They know. 
they can feel it. Yeah, growth. Somebody know it's your time. And then we have restless energy and personal alchemy. Somebody also is going to tell you they, they know that they had to give you time to alchemize something yourself. So you could have thought you were alone, but no, you weren't alone the whole time. 717 could be significant. Oh, we. When I say you weren't alone the whole time, it's a prophecy. This could have something to do with your ancestors, communication, and prosperity. Somebody definitely could be pregnant. Whatever this pro prophecy is, it is going to lead you to prosperity ahead. So take root and stay grounded on her. Something's telling me to use this deck. to you to read the books of Revelations. We have which. You have a strong connection to the universe and if developed through study and practice, you can live an empowered life that can bring forth positive changes. Whoever you are, you can consider yourself a white witch. If you take this path, I'm hearing that it could put you in the energy of receiving prosperity because there is some type of prophecy that you are supposed to be fulfilling. This could also have to do with you communicating with the dead. You could communicate with the dead. It could be a form of inner sensing, seeing, hearing, or feeling. It also has to do with your intuition. You have a strong intuition with the sense of events, thoughts, and feelings of others. Your intuition often manifests in a gut feeling that serves as an internal guide. One more. One more for the collectives. We have young at heart. Like I said, some of y'all can feel like you old, but you're not. It's all about your heart. You guys could be young at heart. The youthful energy in your eyes reveal a fun, hidden treasure, allowing others to explore their own inner child. So yeah, some of you are, you're very persuasive. Especially when it comes to your eyes. It's something about your eyes. You're very persuasive. Okay. What else for the collective? Or close? Yeah. stop healing they liked you better when you was hurting so yeah some of you all you have a prophecy to fulfill you have people that are like trying to get you to look into their life but i feel like right now you are taking time to look into your own life are you taking time to really ground yourself with divine intervention there you're taking time to heal yeah it's all has to do with your confidence like God is giving you more confidence there when it comes to your career paths. Yeah, because somebody was trying to make it seem like you were a problem. You are not the problem. You're not a problem. Right? And you have spiritual protection. Like I said, if these devils, your life purpose has a lot to do with you speaking your truth. Y'all can't make this up. Career, truth, and spiritual protection. Whoever you are. It has a lot to do with you speaking your truth. This is why somebody is constantly questioning if you see what they see. But no, whoever you are, you see only with your third eye I'm <laughs> You see what God sees. Yeah, I can't make this up. Keep going and choose faith. 
because somebody did something very backstabbing. Three, three, three. God seen it, I'll be still. So it's giving me this energy like you know devils are around you. <laughs> you know devils are everywhere you go. You know that people are sending entities to you. You know all of this. This is why people are trying to say you crazy. But you're not crazy. You know what's going on. What's, what else? You know the truth. And I feel like some stuff, some things is like, you're not going to explain. It's giving me, I'm hearing it. Yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> it's really lame, but like, that's what I'm saying. Some things is just, you can't explain. You literally have to let people dive into the unknown, dive into, you know, get a closer relationship with God on their own. Literally, that's what I'm hearing. Somebody has to work on themselves because that's what you're doing. Yeah, we have great sex. Yeah, see, somebody is like mad because you went through a renewal. All spells ain't bad, but protect yourself. What you put out is what you get back. And yeah, you have to protect yourself. Now somebody's asking for forgiveness because, yeah, you're laughing at this person with the sex addictions because you don't want, yeah, expose the truth, don't hold back. So, yeah, this is what I'm getting. Somebody does not want your truth to be spoken. They don't want the truth to get out. They don't want you to break beliefs. Somebody don't understand that you can break beliefs and still believe in God, meaning like, Whoever is setting limitations for God needs to stop. <laughs> Let's just say that. Somebody is setting limitations to God and they need to stop. <laughs> because God is, is not going to limit someone. Even with gifts. There is people with different gifts. Like, God can take away your gifts and give them to someone else. When you are sitting there trying to limit his, his authority. That's what I'm getting. Somebody's not understanding. But yeah, we have be kind. Wanted to see you struggle. They hate to see you happy. So yeah, this is an occult leader. This is an occult that's coming for you. This is why you've been through so many attacks. I'm hearing because of the prophecy, because of the truth. These people want you. Like seriously, these people want you. They want you to part of this group. Something's not powerful without you. It's like these people, they feel better if you do not speak your truth because your truth, like, take out all their lives. You know what? Gonna collect them. One gonna collect them. Rejection. Your truth takes out all their lies. This is why these people are being rejected. And all those devils they sent to you is going back to them. Yeah. It's going back to them. This trickster energy, it's going back to them. Follow your instinct. Your first instinct. Your instincts is telling you you are being a service to the creator. Especially when it comes to your faith and your joy. These people are gossiping. They're a part of a, a cult, a group. They want your abundance. They want, they want this prophecy. They see you go through this renewal, this renewal her. They see you are enlightened. This is why you are receiving some type of miracle. Yeah, in isolation. I'm telling you, somebody has watched you go through isolation as well. They watched you go on this spiritual journey and they watch you have passion and persevere. And you could be releasing people and it could be bittersweet to see you go on your destiny. Because these people were impatient. Yeah. Creation and faith. You have a prophecy here to fulfill. And it was always already written in the books. You are an angel with a book. <laughs> that download is crazy. Okay, let me get child's. Spirit message. I'm gonna close this down. back to the heart of who you truly are. Y'all, didn't y'all say God is trying to remind you who you are? <laughs> there you will find peace. Look at your life and it's e 
entire and look at your life in its eternity. Acknowledge any old wounds and then release them. Use what they taught you as an added strength. Keep moving forward with a renewed sense of confidence. Take some time to rest and rejuvenate. You need to pace yourself with the changes that are coming your way. They are all positive and bigger and better things are coming to you. Just relax and wait. Yeah, so y'all, what did I say? Somebody need to stop putting limitations on God, okay? Don't place limits upon yourself. You are an infinite being with an unlimited potential. You have you can have and be anything you want. Don't hold yourself back or allow anyone else to. This is your life. Live your truth and remain heart-centered at all times. So yeah, somebody, <laughs> y'all, please don't listen to what other people think, especially when it comes to whatever type of relationship with God you have, okay? That's what I'm getting, like. All right, that's all I got for you.